All right, so next up in terms of the features of SNS is the access policy. Uh, so it's labeled here as optional, but I think this is a really important thing uh, for people to be aware of because this is really where people run into problems because it's what controls the permission system of SNS. Uh, so let's take a look at this a little bit more. So what does it say up here? Uh, so this policy defines who can access your topic. By default, only the topic owner can publish or subscribe to the topic. So who is the topic owner in this case? Well, that's me because I own the account. Uh, so if you're in a scenario where you have cross account publishing and subscriptions, say for instance, in my account, I'm the owner of this topic and in another services account, they want to subscribe to my topic. There's some special setup that needs to happen here. Uh, so by default here, you can see there's two sections, define who can publish messages to the topic and define who can subscribe to this topic. And then we also have two different methods that we can choose. We can either choose uh, the basic mode, which just basically involves clicking these things and setting the values respectively, or we can just select the advanced button here. That's going to take all that stuff away. And then that's going to allow us to edit the policy document. So let me scroll down a little bit here. Uh, and the policy document is what, you know, it's what gets generated when you use the basic mode. That's why it kind of keeps it on the side here when we have basic mode selected. Uh, so you can see there's a whole lot of stuff going on here. I'm not going to get into this too much. Uh, we're going to use the basic mode for this example. Uh, so you can see by default, only the topic owner uh, can publish to this topic. Now, if we want anyone to publish, we can select this box and you can see it'll add a setting here at the bottom. Uh, so we can see here the principle is AWS all and everyone can publish. And this is the ARN of this topic. You can see my name is right here, customer order topic. This is my account ID. And the other stuff is just some information about uh, the SNS ARN, which stands for Amazon resource name. Now, this is almost always a bad idea to use the everyone uh, setting. This means that anyone basically on the internet that knows about this ID, this topic ID, can publish messages into it. Uh, this is good for just prototyping or just seeing how things work if you don't want to have to worry about the headaches of permissioning systems. But I highly, highly, highly suggest to quickly disable this and move to either uh, the, the next setting, which I'm going to talk to you about, or keep it on the defaults, which is that only the topic owner can publish and subscribe. So the next setting here is only the specified AWS account. So if we click this guy, uh, we can give, I believe this is like a comma separated list if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so you can see as I'm changing this on the right, uh, we see that these numbers are being added to the policy document. Uh, so when you're using this model, um, say for instance, I'm the topic owner in my AWS account, but I want to allow another service uh, to publish messages into my AWS account. Um, that's how you would set this up. So you're giving explicit permission to these different account IDs that are associated with these people that want to publish into your topic. And if you don't know your account ID, it's right up here. You just click on the, oops, you just click on the name uh, in the top banner here, and this is your account ID, and then you just take out the dashes. Uh, so that's the kind of pros and cons of all these different types of settings. I'm just going to leave this actually, you know, I'm going to do what I said you shouldn't do, which is leave it on anyone can publish. Because like I said, this is just for a demo purpose and I'm going to quickly delete this topic afterwards anyways. Now there's another section here. So who can subscribe to this topic? So a lot of these concepts are, you know, one to one. So only the topic owner, like we just talked about, or it could be everyone. Again, you should probably never use this, but I'm going to go against my own advice and set it up right now. <laughs> and then you can set it up so that only the the specified AWS accounts can subscribe and receive messages from this topic. And then we also have this fourth option here, which is only requesters with certain endpoints. Now I'm not going to get into, you know, certain endpoints topic here because this is kind of a more advanced features that I think 99.9% .9 of you don't need to know about. Uh, but this is kind of the general idea when you're setting up the access policy. Just to recap, you can either use basic or advanced. Basic relies on your inputs over here. Advanced rely on you knowing what you're doing and writing everything here in the policy document. But this stuff basically controls who can publish to and who can subscribe to to receive messages from your AWS topic that you are creating.